forgotten about that. Today we've come out to Runswick Bay to do some fossil hunting. I'm out with Dan again. Let's head on round and see what we can find. So I'm just doing a bit of exploration. I've never been this way. Just curious what's over here. It's a little bridge, so it must lead to the top all the way up there. But that's not the way where the fossils are, so back to the beach we go. If you do enjoy watching these fossil hunting videos, please remember to hit that subscribe button and give the video a like. If you've enjoyed it. Dan's over there testing his new drone. I've just picked up, well, I've just spotted this bone block just laying here. See an ichthyosaur vertebra on the back and it's absolutely packed full of all different types of marine reptile bone. So that's already a very successful hunt and we're only just beginning. Today is already made up by finding that one really good bone block and we've only just got down to the beach so I'm pretty sure it's going to be a really good day's collecting. The past week of fossil collecting on the beaches around Yorkshire I've noticed there's been so many dead crabs just washed up. I'm not even sure why but you can see in this little area there's about six or seven if not more. In fact not, there's definitely more. If anyone knows what causes it maybe it's the Really rough seas we've had. It's quite calm today, to be fair. There's quite a few ammonites, elegantitious ammonites, on the edge of this block. Probably needs prepping out. So I'm going to see if Dan wants it, because I'll probably end up smashing it with my hammer, and then it'll be no good. Looking through the shingle here, and I found another really nice bone find. A piece of ichthyosaur jaw. Just washed up. No teeth on it, unfortunately, but a really cool find still. Very pleased with that. Here there's a slab made of shale, absolutely full of ammonites. Very cool. A little one inside this rock as well. Should be a nice ammonite in here, I'm hoping. Let's give it a tap. I've just spotted this nodule here poking out of this big shell slab. And if you look at this little cannonball here, there's a little ammonite poking out and another one here. So I'm gonna get my chisel in and see what it looks like. has popped open but it's not open properly and you can definitely see there's more inside there just going to glue this top bit of the ammonite back it should be all right Really big duck inside there. Got a bird shirt as well. And they're really crushed. That's not worth taking. 
over here at Kettle Nest now. I'm picking up loads of Dactyliosaurus ammonites, which are just sat here. That's a nice double inside there. Quite rusty, quite rusty because it's fresh out of the cliff. But plenty to take back. Come on, Joel, let's go ahead and tap it open. has broken open and there was open and there was an ammonite on the inside but unfortunately it has just fractured so that's usually how you like to find them that'll split absolutely perfect i'm guessing you can see the keel just sticking out right there little beauty or it's going to split So we're at the furthest point that we're going to go to now. We're going to start making his way back before the tide comes in. walk out really far at low tide just seeing if anything's been washed into any of these little spaces or crevices in between all the rocks and the seaweed 